Hi, I'm Steve Faree. I'm owner of System One Pump Filtration Pumps, and uh, we're here to show you how to how we service one of our uh, one of our pumps. This is a pump for one of our professional teams, and we're going to start taking it apart and show you what we look for and what what wears and and just put actually rebuild it. That's what we're going to do. We've taken the bolts out of the cap. Now we're going to remove the cap off the pump here. And uh, it's one of their pumps. They've they've, re they've serviced it, and we're looking at it. It's, it has a little wear, but it's in very good shape as far as the cap is. Where would you say would be the go or no go on the well, cap? Well, when, when it eats through the the anodized, starts eating the aluminum, and goes more, you know, around it more. This is not even. This doesn't even have a half thousand of the wear, so it's it's in good shape. Gears out of it, and the gears in very good gears in very good shape. So this is the that's a pressure section gear. That's the drive gear. This is the idler gear on the gear pump. This is the idler with the bearings in it. It's in good shape. Pull the housing off of this thing, and the housing has a little wear, but this housing's in very good shape. This pump's like brand new. Now you turn it over. This is the, the mating section for the for the scabbing section, and it has a little wear, but it's still in good shape. This, this pump, there's not, nothing wrong with it, really. Now we'll pull the scabbing section apart. And gear's in good shape. Pump has a little wear, but not much. So the drive gear looks good. The drive gear and shaft looks good. And this is the idler gear and shaft. And this pump has quite a few runs on it, but it's in pretty good shape. It doesn't, it's, it, this pump isn't, Got some aware, but it's nothing. It's a long way from its from its. Uh, what what can teams do uh, running running the pump to uh, to make sure that their pump stays in uh, optimal condition? Uh, you just got to make sure that if they run thrash to them, they got to clean them up. You know, because if they run some thrash, it gets you know hurts them. But at least this pump has no no. Uh, they just got some signs of wear from from use. It's in very good shape. So essentially what he's saying is uh, that if, you know, you have some sort of problem and, you know, you get some metal through the motor, don't just clean out the oil pan. Make sure you take your oil pump apart. And yeah, and, and this is this pump's are very, uh, you can see how easy it comes apart. It's uh, it's made to be very simple, so it can be serviced very easily. And the worst thing can happen to us is needle bearings usually groove into the, cat, into the body and you can clean that up. But... Uh, and the gears, but we can replace gears if they get tore up. Uh, the pumps usually last quite a while. Uh, we've had them last you know, four or five years in some of these teams. Okay, a gear pump, the fluid never changes directions. It comes from the, it follows the outside of the gear all the way around, inside the, those cavities all the way around. It's sealed in the middle. Every, a lot of people think the fluid goes through the middle of the gears, it doesn't. It goes around both sections, that's how it pumps. So if you're a gear, the fluid never changes directions as you turn it, you can see. The fluid never changes direction. It goes around and out. And the difference between a G-rotor and a, and a gear pump, a gear pump has two shafts and two bores. Uh, a G-rotor pump has one bore and one shaft. Uh, the, 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 the problem with a, a G-rotor pump, which is a good pump, it's a good slow speed pump, it doesn't like RPM because the, the fluid has to turn 90 degrees to get into the, the pump. And when you start getting RPM in it up, it cannot make that, that turn, so then you get uh, cavitation. So uh, that's the beauty of a, of a, of a, of a gear pump. It'll follow, it'll follow, it'll pump. We're gonna reassemble this pump, and it's clean. But if we we clean this pump, it'd be really clean. We'd lube everything up, and the shaft's been lubed and the pump's been a little bit inside, so we put, we'll start assembling the gear. This is our sh drive shaft we put in, and then we put in our drive uh, idler gear. And we line up, I always line up with the, when I, I like to line my stuff up with a key facing out. And then we put them out the, the second section, which just goes right on top of the, the first section with the gears in it. Then the next, Bill, we use the same thing, it's all lubed up, and we lube the gears up, and then we just slide this over the keyway shaft, and it's ready to go. 
Same thing with this. It's all lubed up, ready to go. We just drop that in and uh, put our cap back on. I just I put all our, our uh, bolts back in it. <laughs>